welcome back to another episode of Nemesis. And today is our last episode I'm going to do for right now, anyway, at least for tonight, on Johannes Roberts' interview with IGN. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below. If you want to watch the full interview, please do. It's pretty awesome. He answers some really, like, he gets really direct questions and he answers them pretty great. I mean, he skates around some of them. You know, he's probably had some PR training and stuff. But other than that, though, he does give us some interesting information. So I made three videos on that already, if you want to go check those out. Um, but uh, on his new movie, Welcome to Raccoon City, it's called Ra uh, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. And so if you want to hear my thoughts on that title, that's a couple episodes back from now. So please go check those out too. And subscribe and like and all that stuff. If you like Resident Evil content, you want to see more, I'll definitely have more videos coming up to you guys very soon. And I'll re-listen to this interview and see if there's not more videos I can make on it. But I think four is enough. And even if I miss things, we can talk about it in the comment section. Or you can just go, you know, watch it in the interview for IGN. But this I kind of liked as well because we talked about, you know, fixed camera angles. In one episode, we talked about, um, you know, the, the ensemble cast and how exciting that is. And then also the tone of the movie. But in this one, I want to talk about locations uh, because Johannes did mention that the iconic locations of the Spencer Mansion and the RPD were both in this movie. But... I know this movie doesn't have an astronomical budget. I know they had to film it pretty quickly, and they're doing a lot of post stuff now because they, you know, post production's going hardcore. They got the movie they got to release in September, uh, and that comes out the same month as Venom. So I'm going to be very busy that month between both my channels uh, for sure. So who, which one do I? I, I it's going to be a tough week. I'm tired. Or tough, tough couple weeks at least up until Res Evil comes out. And then after that. I can focus on just the box office numbers and then focus mainly on Venom until that comes out. So it'll be a rough September for me, uh, but, so, but I won't push myself too much health-wise. I'll try to, you know, do, do enough at least for you guys um, and enough for me because I like talking about this stuff. So I'm, not, I'm always not making these videos just because I think people watch them. I make them because I just, I love talking about Resident Evil and hopefully they find people out there that like Resident Evil 2. Uh, Resident Evil also, I should say. Um, but if you like Resident Evil 2, awesome, because that's the tone of this movie apparently. But, uh, but in this episode though, I want to talk about the locations, like I said, and how they're going to do it. Uh, financially, I was curious. And so, but we also kind of knew the answer. Uh, if you go back to those early set photos that we got where we saw the archway of the RPD, but behind it, there was no building. It was just the archway and then past the archway, it was like the front doors and that was it. And then out in the woods, I think they built the front steps and the, the entrance uh, doors to the Spencer Mansion and that was it. And then behind it was just trees, like there was nothing else. So it looks like that they're, they, you know, made parts of sets and they're gonna CGI the rest. And we kind of gathered that's what they were gonna do, but it seems we got confirmation of that from Johannes Roberts in this interview that uh, he's actually does do that, not just on the big rooms, like the you know the main hall of the Spencer Mansion or the main hall of the RPD, but it sounds like at other times in the film, uh, they built parts of sets and then filled in with C or enhanced things with CG is what he said. So, uh, so that's interesting because yeah, there are some iconic rooms in these places, in the Spencer Mansion and in the RPD, that all of us know by heart from the video games. And I imagine trying to find a, a location that is exact is impossible. So what they probably did was filmed at places that were similar, and they'll probably, you know, just film rooms that aren't identical to the video games and just say, okay, we can we can kind of fake this room or fake that room and, and do stuff, stuff like that and mess with the geography because we can film in different rooms and say this room up here and this room down here are like right next to each other. Like they can fudge that in movies and stuff like that. Um, but it sounds like the main rooms, the big rooms, or like the catacombs or other places, I don't know where they're going to go all you know, in the movie, but at least the RPD and the Spencer Mansion, it sounds like those are going to have CGI enhancements to their locations. And I'm totally okay with that. Like I said, as long as it looks pretty good, convincing, um, I'm, I'm interested. And say, so, you know, he mentions John Carpenter a lot. I'm like, ooh, could we actually get, you know, because Resident Evil, the remakes games do, uh, do this, the first one especially, where they had matte painting backgrounds. And I'm like, we haven't seen matte paintings done in movies in a while and done really really well uh so i'm curious would they even go that far to do matte paintings uh i'm sure they're working on it in post and i'm sure it's like a headache and a half for a lot of hard-working editors and, and people who work in visual effects and all that so kudos to you guys thank you so much for your hard work uh, i can't wait to see how this all comes together and i know a lot of other fans feel the same way but uh, but this just got me thinking and i was like you know what i should make a video at least talking about it and addressing it and get your thoughts because I'd love to hear what you think about, you know, having that. Like, let's say they build like a room with a desk, but the walls don't look anything like the, the Spencer Mansion or the or Chief Iron's office doesn't look anything like his office and they can't afford to build every single wall in the room. So what are you OK with them just having the desk, his office, like a, a stuffed tiger or whatever he has, like some taxidermy and then just like 
uh, a, a hopefully non-noticeable CGI uh, enhancements filling out the room. Um, would you be okay with that? Is to, to make it look more game accurate? I would. I mean, I, I'm not full. I don't have to have the you know it be a thousand percent game accurate or even a hundred percent game accurate. If it works and fits for the world the movie's building. I'm okay with that. You know, I'd be totally fine with that if like, you know, things weren't the same angle or, you know, the room wasn't, was a circle instead of a square, you know, whatever. It's like those kind of things aren't going to upset me. But I think a lot of people, they want to see that Spencer Mansion shot. They want it to look cool. They want to see the RPD wide shot. They want that to look cool. And then they want shots in the main hallway to look good and convincing as well. And I think as long as you do that, all the other rooms you could probably play with a little bit and uh, and and fudge things here and there, and I think it's going to be fine. Uh, but I just thought this was neat. It was a neat topic to to think about and think about the locations and just hearing him say that we're definitely getting the RPD and Spencer Mansion, which we knew from set photos, but it's still it's just like I can't believe we're getting the Spencer Mansion and the RPD both together in one movie. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Even if the the movie is called Raccoon City or Welcome to Raccoon City, it's like, ugh, whatever. I guess at this point, I'm just going to have to suck it up and deal with that because uh, I'm not a big fan of that title. But I am excited for what they might bring to this movie and with the tone they talked about and the cast. Like, I'm very pumped for this. So I hope it still delivers. I hope it's one of those movies where we just roll our eyes at the title, but we still like the movie overall. And if, if honestly the title is the worst part about the movie, then this movie is going to be awesome and maybe a 10 out of 10 for me. So, uh, so I'm pumped. So let me know what you think down below of this concept of, you know, uh, filling in the blanks uh, with CGI or using that just to enhance what's already there. I think that's smart filmmaking always, and that helps keep your budget down a little bit. It is expensive to do those types of things, uh, but if you're subtle with it and you don't have to spend like weeks and weeks and weeks on it, you know, hopefully, um, then then I think it'll be worth it in the end. Just don't work a poor, you know, visual effects person to death where their fingers are falling off. Like, don't do that, uh, Sony and, and, and everyone who's working on this movie. Like, don't put your employees through that kind of ringer. Just let them do their thing, bring their magic to the table like the cast and crew did when they filmed it. So trust in the people that are working in post and hopefully this comes together and it looks freaking awesome. So we'll talk more about Resident Evil Reboot soon. I'll go through this interview and see if there's anything else I want to cover or if there's a topic that was brought up in the interview that you want me to cover, please let me know down below. And if I if I think, oh, you know what, I can talk about that, I'll make a video on it for you very, very soon. And I'll have more Resident Evil content ASAP, I promise. Uh, but I got to go. I want to try to get at least one of these videos up before midnight. So let me go work on these and I'll edit these and then hopefully over the next few days, you'll get the rest of them. So thanks so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.